Hello, welcome to a chip off the old block toys. This is Jeff here and I am here in my truck in Evanston, Wyoming. I'm here at a model railroad show. My lug is here, my Lego user group. They're called lugs. We're called nut lug. And I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description if you want to learn more about uh, my lug and if you want to join the lug. And it's, a, it's a great lug, great synergy among all of us. And uh, we're here in Evanston, Wyoming. In Evanston, Wyoming, this is an interesting venue. This is a, a very old train yard, which is right next to an active train yard. Um, the venue is held in the old, uh, <clears throat> what do they call that, roundhouse. That has been partially restored. Most of it is a rune, but, well, I don't want to say a rune, it's a shell. And then the end part has been restored, and they hold the vents in here. And so it's a really cool. And then next door is the engine house, which has been fully restored. And that also is part of the show. Anyway, it's a really interesting complex. I will show you part of it. We'll walk around and I'll explain what I know about it, which isn't much, but I'll tell you what I know. And uh, we'll be able to take a look at this together. It's an interesting venue. This is my second time here. I was here last year. But last year, I was not a member of the lug. I came here to help out my dad's group. Uh, my dad is part of the... National Model Railroad Association, whatever those initials are, I always forget, can never say it. Um, I came here and volunteered, helped my dad's group last year, and uh, I met the Lug group at another event, uh, the Children's Museum, in December, and that was my dad's group as well. I was helping out my dad's group's volunteering, and they happened to be there. They were cool people, so I decided to join the Lug, and that's how I got associated with them. And then I found out that the Lug does very similar shows in fact the same shows that my dad's group does so i can show up to these events and i can volunteer and move between both of them which is what i do and i have a lot of fun i meet a lot of new people and anyway um it's it's a great time so let, let's walk around and uh, i'll show you part of the active train yard as well as the old part of the train yard it's not active anymore all right guys let's get started before we do the outside tour, I'm going to go ahead and just show you our display as a club. Our club is called Nutlug. Uh, this is called the Crazy Eights. They are three um, eight loops, and one of them goes over the whole entire thing. Got a couple spaceships here. And got a couple mosaics. Uh, a mock here. Uh, this here you'll recognize as a set. You got Mickey and Minnie Mouse mosaics here. Got the up house that's supposed to use the gravity act to hold it up. Um, the table moves too much when people hit it, so it kept falling, so we just took it off. But that is the up house there. And there's Mickey and Minnie Mouse. There's a customized bouquet. And you might recognize this as a Star Wars Death Star, and it is, but it has a Disney theme to it. It is sitting on a rotating uh, plate. And what's on the tan here is my display. And yes, it is all Lego sets. I didn't have time to customize, as I said in my channel, so I went ahead and did this. And I, the back Batman cowl, the classic, I went ahead and went to Walmart and picked it up because I didn't have it. And I saw it here, so I picked it up. And there's an Ninjago Bank. That was a Toys R Us special years back. And we've got another uh, flower display, mushroom house, a couple Lego mugs, a Lego tissue holder, a couple of squirrels. And we've got an Asian garden, some Ninjago, a temple here with some guardians, a dragon. And some more. And then we've got some mosaics here. Harry Potter themed. And Harry and Hermione, which you'll recognize that from uh, when I built it on my channel. And our... I'm going to go above here. Okay, there you go. Nutlug, our, our group. And Hogwarts. And last but not least, our 
our Nutlug um, logo and our QR code. Code. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go outside and show you the grounds a little bit. As I stated earlier, this is a unique train yard because it has the old train yard mixed with a active train yard. The active train yard is those tankers out in the distance and there are several tracks back there and it does extend pretty far back. And then you have the old with the roundhouse here and we'll get a better shot of that. But those trains right there, those diesel engines, those are US Navy and obviously they're not in operation anymore. They are functional, but they're not used by the Navy anymore. But they're here in this uh, rail yard. You see plenty and plenty of abandoned tracks all throughout here. And the show, well, before I get to that, there's the powerhouse that used to generate the power needed. It is obviously in disarray and disuse. Over here, we have the old engine house. Now, that building is not air conditioned. However, it has been refurbished. And a lot of the show is going on there, but there's no Lego in there. It's all model railroads. And then we just came out of a section of the roundhouse, which has been restored. Only part of it has been restored. And in fact, let me take you to the inside of the roundhouse. This is one of the few surviving roundhouses in the US. This one has been partially restored. I think they said it originally held 24 engines. That's how big it is. And let's do a pan panoramic here. And yes, that uh, centerpiece still works. In fact, uh, they do give rides on it. They're not very exciting, but they do give rides. And go back here. Only, I think it's only the first six doors are restored. And then there's a steam engine in there that they're restoring. And if, it looks like the door's open over there. So if that is the section I'm thinking it is, we'll get some pictures in there. But yes, this roundhouse, they did replace all the windows and the roof so that it is all waterproof, but much of it is just unfinished. But it is a cool building and it is cool in that it's a roundhouse that's been restored and used for events now and it's cool because of air conditioning. Let's go see what we can do about seeing that steam engine that's being refurbished. So I didn't want to talk in there because those guys were building, <clears throat> were in there uh, restoring the engine. Uh, I saw it last year. They made a little bit of progress over a year. But here's more of the active train yard here. And what I find really interesting about this building or this complex is that it's many, many, many decades of railroading right here. And here's a good example of that. You've got rooms right there. You've got the roundhouse, which is obviously more original than this building sitting next to it, blocking some of the doors, which obviously couldn't have been here at one time. Uh, so I don't know what this building is, but it's in ruins now. And the funny thing is the roundhouse came first, that came after. They both fell apart, but that's been restored. That hasn't. So anyway, interesting stuff. Um, and they do things, they try to save stuff. This is brick from some of the buildings that have been torn down. And they use this brick to restore some of the buildings here. <clears throat> As things happen, it's hard to, to find these old style bricks. And so by saving it, they're saving themselves some money. And also the authenticity of these buildings. So it's a really cool complex. This has been a really fun show. I really enjoyed it. I've met a lot of people, talked to a lot of uh, kids, a lot of adults. It's been a lot of fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you have, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And also leave me a comment below. And be sure uh, to turn on all notifications because I am back to making videos almost every day. And I'm sorry, I just realized something that I didn't show you. I didn't think I could see it from here. So let me. Okay, that building way in the distance there, 
that replaced the roundhouse. That is where they work on engines right now. Way back there. And of course, it's just a glorified pole barn instead of this lovely beauty right here. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed the videos, like I said, hit the like button, subscribe, look for my next video. And I've got a channel announcement video coming out uh, in a day or two. Excited to tell you what our upcoming plans are. The next show is Brick Slopes, which is going to happen at the end of this month. I will not be displaying in that show after all, um, but I will be there and I will get some uh, good videos and maybe some interviews in. And then uh, in November is the NMRA, National Model Railroading Association show, and my lug has been invited. We will be there. And that's what the video is about, the announcement, and we'll talk about that later in another video. And then we've got another show in December at the Children's Museum. And we talked as a club about attending more shows this coming year in 2023. So hopefully I'll have some more announcements about that too. All right, guys, be good to each other. Stay safe out there. And I will catch you on the next video.